Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One, and happy Black Friday to you. I've got a what I think is a very cool Lightroom tip. Uh, hey, before we get into that, just want to mention it is Black Friday. If you're watching this on the day I released it, we've got our best deals ever on joining Kelby One or going to the Photoshop World 2017 conference. So make sure you hit the button here on the page and check out our cyber deals because they are awesome and it's just for Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So I hope that you check it out. If you want to learn Lightroom, man, we got so much Lightroom training. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, let's do our tip. Here we go. So I'm, <laughs> I've got a tip here for creating a depth of field effect. So it looks like you maybe shot this portrait instead of shooting at uh, with a really wide angle where everything's in focus. You shot with a zoom and you use a really wide open aperture. So here's how we're going to do that. It's kind of a cool trick. We're going to get the... Uh, the gradient graduated filter tool whatever you want to call it we're going to take our clarity down to minus 100 and our sharpness down to minus 100 that's going to give us a little bit of a blur effect it's not going to give us enough but it's going to get us started so here we go everything zeroed out clarity minus 100 sharpness minus 100 we're going to drag this down all the way kind of to where our subject is here now you can see that it's a little blurry I'm going to hit the backslash key on my keyboard so you can see. Look at the lights up here. You can see now they are a little blurry. Not awesomely blurry, not nearly as blurry as we want, but they're somewhat blurry. Now I'm going to press the letter O and you can see where our mask is. And you can see that our mask, actually let's pull this down a little further, goes over our subject here. So we're going to click on the brush over here. We are going to click on erase or you can just hold the option key on Mac or the alt key on Windows. And we're going to erase over him. We don't actually want him or the seats next to him to actually be out of focus, right? So we're going to clear all that out. So everything's going to be out of focus, like basically up there. Now let's hit the letter O again to turn off that mask. Okay, so here's the trick really basically is this. We have a little bit of blur back there. Again, there it is, just a tiny bit of blur just over that area. You're going to right click right on the point and choose duplicate. It's going to make another of the exact same thing with a little hole cut out and everything. We're going to hit duplicate and watch look how blurry it is back there now now it's getting pretty blurry we're gonna right click again and choose duplicate and and it keeps stacking that blurriness up and now you're starting to look like you've got that nice depth of field that's so impossibly hard to get with a wide angle lens and we'll even do one more hit duplicate one more time and there you've got that now if you want to go for extra credit there's two things you can do uh, let's go ahead and this time grab the tool hit new all right, so it's the same settings, but we're going to drag from the bottom and just pop it right in here. So this is a little blurry right at the bottom. If you were really shooting this with a lens, you'd have blur up there and a little bit of blur down here. And you can see it's not a whole bunch, so let's duplicate it a couple of times. Duplicate and duplicate. And let's make this area where the, it goes to transparent kind of small. So now when I move my cursor, you can see it blurs the seats down here and it majorly blurs the top. And the last thing you can do is this. Uh, this was shot with a wide angle lens. I believe it was a 16 millimeter. And that's not a really super flattering lens for people, especially if they're not dead in the center and he's off center over here. So it's a little distorting him. So here's what we do to get around that. Let's just scroll down to the lens panel here. Let's close the brush. Let's close the graduated filter, I mean. Let's go to the lens correction. Actually, go right to transform. And there's a slider called aspect and what aspect does is it either I'll show you either shrinks up the picture or stretches it out we're gonna shrink it up just a little bit so he looks a little doesn't look quite so distorted and that will require require us to recrop the image so I'm gonna click constrain crop and it automatically fixes it so let's look at the before and after you can see it was a little wide and kind of stretched this looks more realistic plus you get the out of focus background and the whole nine yards. All right, guys, thanks for letting me share this tip with you. Thank you for coming to Lightroom Killer Tips. And of course, I hoping I am hoping that while you're here, you'll take advantage of our best deal of the year to join Kelby One. It's fifty dollars off if you want to join. It's the best price that we offer all year long. We never offer fifty bucks off. This is the best deal. And also, if you want to go to Photoshop World, the big conference uh, in Orlando, Florida, in April, I believe it's April twentieth, twenty second the Orange County Convention Center. 
down very close to Walt Disney World. Bring the family down, go to Photoshop World, and if you can sign up during this Black Friday deal, you get $300 off the full conference pass price. So hope you'll check that out. Thank you again for checking this out and hope you guys have a very happy Friday, Black Friday, and an awesome Cyber Monday. We'll catch you guys next week.